After leaving the lab, the tour was finally over. Well, that's our tour. But wait, what about the kids? Yeah, what about Augustus, Veruca, Mike, and Violet? Don't worry, they'll be turned back to their normal selves. But I got some work to do. The door is out back. Well, goodbye. Wonka then closed the door to his office, leaving everyone confused. What happened? Yeah, don't we get anything after this tour, like a lifetime supply of chocolate or a souvenir? Something's not right. You're right, let's take a look. Charlie, Grandpa Joe, and the band enter Wonka's office where everything was cut in half. Wonka was saying as this frustrated when Grandpa Joe came up to him. Uh, Mr. Wonka, we were promised a lifetime supply of chocolate. When do we get it? Yeah, Charlie's the only one left, you know. What? After what you did and broke the contract? Contract? The one Charlie and the other kids signed at the beginning of the tour. Oh, right. But what did we do? According to this contract, you stole fizzy lifting drinks. So you lose. You get nothing. Good day, sir. Oh, right. The drinks. You're a crook. An inhuman monster. You build up Charlie's hopes and dreams only to crush them. Yeah, and speaking of which, Wonka, about the drinks, have you ever thought of making an alcoholic version for adults? Murdoch, seriously? Come on, Charlie. Let's go. Yeah, let's leave. I couldn't agree more. Let's go, Charlie. Let's go give that everlasting gobstopper to Slugworth. Grandpa Joe opened the door for him, Charlie, and the gorillas to leave, but Charlie looked back at Wonka. Then he went over to his desk and placed his gobstopper on Wonka's desk. Wonka reached out his hand to the candy. Charlie, yes? You won! What? Huh? Wonka picked Charlie up and gave him a hug. Come in, Mr. Wilkinson. At that moment, the man Slugworth came in. It's Slugworth! No, he's not Slugworth. Mr. Wilkinson is my employee. Wait, then why did he try to get Charlie and the other kids to steal Wonka's candy? I was trying to test you. For what? Come with me. Wonka took Charlie, Grandpa Joe, and the gorillas to the strange elevator and made a glass. I'd like to welcome you aboard the Wonka Vader. This elevator has a button to every room in the factory that I press except for one. In fact, Charlie, would you do the honors? Charlie pressed the button that was above him. The elevator then started to move and go up. So where does this lead to? The ceiling. The ceiling? But this elevator is made of glass. We'll be chopped to bits. We're all gonna die. Hang on. The elevator then crashed through the ceiling and out of the factory, but everyone was left unharmed. Are we dead? No, we're floating over the town. Everyone looked out, seeing the view of the town right below them. Hey, I can see everything from down here. This is awesome, better than riding on a plane. So, Charlie, what'd you think of my factory? It was wonderful. Well, that's nice, because I'm giving it to you. What? Yes, you and your whole family can come live in my factory, as I think my time is winding down. So you can all move there. Charlie then gave Wonka a hug. This is exciting. Congrats, Charlie. And Charlie, don't forget what the boy who wanted everything after he got it. He lived happily ever after. Later, the ride ended and everyone got out. That was fun. Yes, a fun flight if you ask me. And it looks like our work here is done. You're right, Russ. I think it's time for us to part once again. You're leaving? Yeah, sorry, Charlie, but we gotta go back home. But hey, good luck on running the factory. Okay, I'll miss you guys. We'll miss you too. Bye, Charlie. Bye, Grandpa Joe. Bye, Mr. Wonka. Bye, guys. After that, everything started to fade away once again. Then the band was all back at Con Studios. Well, that was one sweet adventure. Get it? Yes, we get it. It was sure fun trying all those candies. Yeah, and you said eating that candy would be bad for us. Huh, Russ? Actually, guys, I think I was a little too strict about what I said, especially after what we experienced. In fact, I like to make it up to you. Russell went to the kitchen and came back with the candy Murdoch had bought. Here. Actually, Russ, I'm good. I'm a little full from the candy we had at the factory. Yeah, me too. Same. I've had enough of candy for one day. Murdoch, Tootie, and Noodle then left the room, leaving Russell with the candy. Oh, well. More for me. Russell took out a candy bar and unwrapped it and took a bite out of it.